Hey guys, welcome to your feel good flow. So today we are gonna be working towards crow pose. If you've never done crow pose before, this is perfect for you. We're gonna get ourselves nice and warmed up and then try it. Um, if you have done crow pose before, that's amazing. And um, hopefully you can improve your skill a little bit. So let's get started as always. You can just start in a comfortable seated position and just begin to focus on the breath. So not trying to change the breath yet. Just noticing how you're feeling, noticing what the breath is doing. And then starting to deepen the breath. Filling the lungs completely, allowing the diaphragm to expand. And then exhale in completely, shoulders drop, belly button pulls into the spine. So just taking a few deep breaths like this. Inhaling completely and exhaling all the air out of the lungs. Becoming present on your mat, letting go of any expectations, any judgments, and allowing yourself to be fully present for this practice. Taking a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, <sighs> sigh it out. Again, in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Last time, deep breath in through the nose, the deepest breath you've taken today. Hold it at the top, seal the lips. Slowly exhale through the nose. Awesome, guys. Let's start right away. Let's get into, let's get into our tabletop position. Shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Tops of the feet, flat on the mat. We're just going to work with a few cat cows to warm up the spine. Inhale, pull the heart forward. Pull the shoulders back and down with the chin to the chest and the sit bones. And then as you exhale, Push the ground away. So really create that dome in your back. Pushing the ground away. Pulling the elbows in towards each other. Inhaling to cow. Using that ujjayi breath to take you further. Heart forward, shoulders back. Exhaling to cat. Really pushing the ground away. And think about pulling triceps back, biceps forward. Pulling the belly button in, doming the spine. Just a few more times with your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome, guys. Let's tuck the toes and lift the hips straight away into your first downward facing dog. So we're not going to do too long of a flow here. We're just going to get warmed up, warm up our core, warm up our shoulders, our chest, our backs, our obliques, our hips, and then we're going to get straight into it. All right. On your inhale, let's go up to the tippy toes, bend the knees and look forward, and then just make your way to the front of the mat. Feet hip distance apart, exhale, forward fold. Opposite elbows, let the head hang. Gently swaying side to side, allow the crown of the head to be heavy. Pull the belly button in, stretch to the side of the back. Inhale, half lift, shoulders back, heart forward. And exhale, fold. Push through the feet, inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, right foot steps back, low lunge. Squeeze the butt, push the hips forward. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands down to inside of left foot. Left foot turns out so it's 45 degrees, all right? Hands come down, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Inhale, reach the arm up. Exhale, curl right fingertips to outside of right pinky finger. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, curl. Inhale, reach back up. And exhale, curl. Beautiful. Inhale, reach back up. Drop the back knee. Allow that knee to fall up. Reach back. Maybe you curl that foot into the, into the hand. Feeling the hamstring and glute work. I love, this is one of my favorite postures. And then kick the foot into the hand. Beautiful. So we're using the hamstring and the glute. Curl the heel in. Feel the hamstring work. Awesome. And then slowly release. Right hand, left hand comes down. Sorry, tuck the back toes. Now you're gonna pluck the front foot off the mat, but keep the knee up towards the tricep, and then take it right back, downward facing dog. Right leg floats behind you, inhale. 
Exhale, knee to right tricep. Hold it here. Then lower the foot to the outside of the hand, but do it nice and gently. So straighten that foot and then drop it down nice and slow. So same thing here. Right arm reaches up, inhale. Exhale, curl, right hand to outside of left pinky. Inhale, up and open, reach back. Exhale, curl. Last time, inhale, up and open, reach back. Drop the back knee. Use hamstring and glute to curl that heel in towards the booty, feel the hamstring and glute work. And then you can catch the foot if you have it, kick the foot into the hand, look back. Beautiful, slowly release. Right hand comes down, tuck the back toes. Now same thing, push into the hands, really push into the hands. Think about screwing the hands into the ground and pull the belly button in so you're doming in the upper back. Now light on that right foot. Lift the foot off the mat, but keep the knee to the tricep, and then step it back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Inhale to the tippy toes, bend the knees and look forward. Step or float your way to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, heart forward. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to prayer. So one more time. Other side. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down. Step the left foot back. Low lunge. Reach the arms up overhead. Inhale. Exhale, hands down. Walk the right foot out. So it's 45 degrees towards the outside edge of the mat. Push into the hands, tuck the back toes. This time, push into the hands, deep breath in. Exhale, lift the knee off of, sorry, lift the foot off the mat, but keep the knee to the tricep. All right, hold it here, inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. And take it back, three-legged dog. Deep breath in. And exhale, lower back down. Downward facing dog. Inhale, last leg floats behind, three-legged. Exhale, knee to nose, rock forward. Bring the knee to the outside of the tricep, hold it here. And lower the foot to the outside of the hand. Keep the back knee lifted. Push into the hands, deep breath in. Pop the back foot off the mat to the outside of the right hand and sit the butt down. Lift the chest, shoulders back. Beautiful, squeeze the butt. Push knees into um, elbows, elbows into knees. So we're getting that engagement. So really feel those adductors work. So chest up, shoulders back, chest up, and squeeze the knees in towards the elbows. Beautiful, hands down. Push into the hands, step the right foot way back, and then same thing, push into the hands, left knee to tricep, exhale, three-legged dog, inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Awesome, guys, inhale, rock forward, high plank. Beautiful, so really in your high plank, Pull the belly button in, push the ground away. Really get that dome in the upper back. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, rock forward, high plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, last time, inhale, rock forward, high plank. And then we'll take our first chaturanga, shoulders back. Slowly lower down, elbows 90 degrees. And then inhale, up dog. Shoulders back, heart through. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, guys. Inhale, tippy toes, bend knees, look forward. Step or float your way to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to prayer. Beautiful. So bringing all the weight into the right foot. 
Lift the left knee, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, left knee crosses over right, arms forward, right arm over left, eagle wrath. So lifting the shoulders up, pushing them away from the body. So we're getting that dome in the upper back. Squeeze everything together, pull the belly button in, sink in that right heel. Sink down, 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 push the elbows up and away from the body. Awesome, guys. Slowly release. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, kick the left leg back, heart forward. Warrior three. Right hip goes back, left heel goes back. Inhale. Exhale, lower down, low lunge. Push into the hands, pluck the front knee off the mat. Inhale. Exhale, bring it over to the right. Inhale, scorpion dog, three-legged. And then exhale, bring it back, downward facing dog. Inhale up to the tippy toes, bend the knees and look forward. Step or float your way to the front of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Bring the right leg with you this time. Right leg crosses over left, arms forward, left arm over right, eagle wrap. Push elbows up and away from the body. Link that right toe behind the calf. Or you can use it as a kickstand on the outside of that left foot. Beautiful, guys. Sink the hips nice and low. Push the elbows up and away from the body and squeeze everything down. Beautiful, guys. Hips back, really push the elbows away and up. And breathe, stay with the breath. Slowly release, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, right leg kicks way, way back. Warrior three, just for a moment. And then exhale, hands down, low lunge. Pluck the front foot off the mat and bring it up towards the tricep. Now I forgot I didn't do this on the other side, so we're gonna do it now. Inhale, lower the knee down, exhale up. Inhale, lower, exhale up. Last time, inhale, lower. Exhale up, and then open it up, scorpion dog, and then lower it back down, or facing dog. Awesome, guys. Inhale, tippy toes, bend knees, and look forward. Step or float your way to the front of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, and exhale, hands to prayer. Beautiful, guys, so reach the arms up overhead. Toes out. Malasana, so, so toes up 45 degrees, and then we're sink the booty down coming into Malasana. Again, wiggle the hips back and forth, elbows to knees, knees to elbows, lift the chest. Beautiful, deep breath in. Now exhale, tuck the tailbone, lift the feet off the ground, shoulders back, belly button in. Beautiful. On your inhale, you're gonna low to low boat. Now as you exhale, come into a lying crow pose, so a hand center. Um, Sorry, hands in the center, pull the belly button in and try and get the hands past the feet. Beautiful. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull it in. Beautiful, last time, inhale, extend. Exhale, pull it in. Awesome, guys, inhale, extend. Exhale, this time, bring it up all the way forward back to your malasana. Awesome, guys. Hands down, lift the hips, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to mat, step or float your feet back, your plank, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, guys, so I'm going to um, show you how to get into crow pose, and then I will walk you through it again and give you a minute to try. So just watch first so you can see the setup, and then you can go ahead. So we're nice and warmed up. Our hips, our um, adductors are warmed up, hamstrings are warmed up shoulders, so we're good to go, guys. Um, all right, let's do it. Marco, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. She's itchy. Okay, so you want to start with your hands, your shoulders directly over your wrists. Think chaturanga arms, okay? So screw the hands into the ground. We're going to get into... When we try together, we're gonna to get into malasana first and then hands down so your hips are kind of in the right place. Push the ground away, think cat-like with the back, 
And then you want to get the knees up nice and high and the hips nice and high. So that's what we're looking like. Okay, you're kind of onto the tiptoes, pull the elbows back, maybe chaturanga arms, look forward, not down. And now knees come under the armpits, look forward. And then all you're gonna do is slowly rock yourself forward to bring weight into the hands. So it doesn't matter if you don't get there straight away. Maybe you're just rocking forward and lifting one foot. Then maybe you rock back, lift the other foot. And then maybe you rock forward and lift both feet. And then you curl the heels in towards the booty. And you're at your curl pose. So if your knees don't reach the armpits, you can come into frog pose, which can be a little bit more accessible. You rock forward and just squeeze your inner thighs into the triceps. And then you can still get that kind of lift. All right, so let's go for it, guys. You give it a go. Again, make sure you're looking forward, not down. Um, I've fallen loads, loads of times when I was learning this. So um, do you want to get a pillow in front of your face? You can do that. So <clears throat> let's get started, guys. We're all going to start in downward facing dog together. Deep breath in and out. <sighs> all right, inhale, tippy toes, bend knees, look forward. Step or float your way to the front of the mat, but bring your feet nice and wide so you're in malasana. All right? Now hands down in front of the face. So hands are wrists are underneath the wrists are underneath the shoulders. Okay? Now get those hips nice and high. Make sure your palms are down, fingertips are in the mat, you're screwing the hands into the ground. Look forward, not down. Belly button in, and then slowly rocking forward, curling the heels in towards the booty, puffing up the upper back and taking a couple breaths there. Good job, guys. Shake it out, come onto the knees, you did it, well done. Raise the arms forward, child's pose. The good thing about this is if you wanna pause it and try a couple more times, you can. Slowly come up. All right, you need to move. I love you, but. I love you, but <laughs> go crawl. Okay, so we've done, we just want to open up the chest a little bit now. So onto the butt, swing those legs around. Heels underneath the knees, um, fingertips towards the booty. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, take a deep breath in. And exhale, push through the heels, lift the hips. Coming into reverse tabletop. Again, shoulders pull back, push the ground away, squeeze the butt, and then slowly lower down. Awesome, guys, cross the feet. Hands down, tuck the toes, and push yourself downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward, high plank. And then exhale, lower yourself all the way down to the ground. You're gonna have your right arm out 90 degrees like a goal post left fingertips into the mat and then just gently roll onto the right side opening up that chest and the shoulder maybe the left toes come behind you and then slowly back to center opposite side push right into right fingertips roll over maybe the right toes come behind you Slowly back to center. <sighs> and then hands underneath the shoulders. Roll the shoulders back with the chest. Pull the heart forward. Just coming into a gentle cobra. And then slowly lowering all the way down. Push into the hands, tuck the toes. Lift the hips back for your last down dog. This cone does not seem to be working for you, does it? <laughs> for your last downward facing dog. And then you can inhale to the tippy toes, walk forward, and then just come to sit back on the booty. Awesome, guys. Bring the right knee into the chest, give it a squeeze, and then we'll just do a gentle twist. Left arm around right knee, right hand behind you, looking over that right shoulder. And breathe. 
Shavasana, awesome. slowly release. Allow that right knee to fall out to the side. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold over the left leg. Just slowing down the breath a little bit, stretching out that low back, the right low back. And slowly rise up, switch sides. Right knee into the chest, release it down. And then left knee in, wrap that right arm around the left knee. Left hand behind you, lift the spine, lift the chest, sorry. And then exhale, look over that left shoulder. Nice, easy, gentle twist. And then slowly release. Left knee falls out to the side. Reach the arms up overhead, inhale. And exhale, fold over that right leg. And slowly coming up. Meet your bow, not your leg. And release the legs down. Awesome, guys. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And then exhale, slowly lower down as slow as you can. For your final Shavasana. You can bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Bring the forehead to the knees saying, thank you, body, for bringing me to practice. I love you. And then release everything down to the mat for your final resting pose. So just closing down the eyes, getting into whatever position feels good for you. You can have your heels to the outside edges of the mat, allowing the toes to fall up to the side, hands down by your side, palms facing up. Maybe we should turn down the music a little bit. <sighs> So just resting in whatever position feels good for you, closing down the eyes. And allowing your body to just soak up all the energy that you just created. Giving your body thanks for taking you through practice and through life. to just finish the practice before the Shavasana. It's so important to stay if you can, even for a few moments. On the inhale, just imagine all the fresh new energy that we've created, exhaling any stagnant energy, and just allow yourself to be for the next few moments. Thoughts into your mind just gently Lovingly ask them to leave you alone for the next couple moments. slowly starting to wiggle the fingers and toes, moving the body in whatever way it's asking for, maybe doing a stretch overhead, rolling on to the right side for breath, and slowly pushing yourself up to a seated position. 
keeping the eyes closed for a moment, sealing our practice, taking a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, <sighs> sigh it out, getting rid of anything that doesn't serve you anymore, in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Last time, deep breath in through the nose. Feel the energy pulling all the way up the spine to the crown of the head. Hold at the top. Seal the lips, slowly exhale. Bring the hands to prayer. Thumbs to the forehead for clarity of thought. Thumbs to the lips for kind words. And thumbs to the heart for an open heart. Thank you so much for allowing me to take you through practice. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys. Please um, comment with any kind of classes that you would like to see. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so I can continue making you guys more videos. Again, have an amazing rest of your day.